Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I am reviewing both the Anna Pardell Beatrix bra as well as the alterations which have been performed to it. Now I did this once in the past with Felicity and I'm going to do it again here with Beatrix. Now this has not had the same alterations performed as Felicity and I encourage you to one, go back and check out that review. But also if you're coming into this video not knowing who Anna Pardell or Comexum are and not knowing about their alterations process to go back. Uh, hit pause on this video, bookmark it, and in the meantime, go check out the videos I've done reviewing the classic cup shape bras like Fifi or Emmeline, and then go forward and look at the blogger, the video blog I did addressing all the various alterations that both of the brands will perform. That will give you the right context from which you can view this video and see if it's going to be something that's worthwhile. One of the reasons I really like Comexum and its collaborative line, Anna Pardell, is because they both use very narrow underwires with very projected cups. Now this is ideal for women who have very little side breast tissue and who have a lot more projection towards the center, uh, whether it be close at breast or just have a lot of fullness here, because these bras really get that shape. The wires don't extend too far on the side, which can create space. There's enough depth towards the center so that breast tissue isn't kind of splayed outwards or allowed to spill over. Overall, it's a really nice fitted bra for that particular breast shape. So before I get into the alterations, let's talk a little bit about size. I'm wearing the 32 double H in the Beatrix, which is my standard Anna Pardell and Comexum size. This is one band and one cup size up from what I take in most UK manufacturers. So keep that in mind as far as sizing goes. And thus far, I have found the brands to be very consistent. Every single one of my bras is a 32 double H. There's nothing that I own that's outside of that size at this particular time. Now let's discuss the alterations. This is the classic three section cup and it has been altered to have a raised gore and a higher arm here on the side. So in all honesty, the original cup shape works fine for me. I do occasionally get some like little fit quibbles uh, here and there, but for the most part, it's the best fitting bra that I've ever owned. And I came into the alterations process not expecting to be wowed by anything. I figured I was probably just going to be fine ordering that classic three section cup shape. Now when I did the Felicity review, Felicity actually had a reduced cup height and had the straps moved in and that was an alteration that I knew instantly I was going to have on every single future purchase I made of the line. It really panned out well. So I was excited to try Beatrix because it does have the higher gore, it does have a little bit more coverage on the side and I wanted to see how it either improved the fit or maybe made it a little worse and I also wanted to have a good frame of reference for when customers ask me these questions. So let's talk about the higher arm on the side. This was one of the very hotly contested uh, alterations from what I had seen because people are afraid that if you go very high here, it's going to take away what people like about Comexum, and that is that they typically do have a lower side. And to be totally honest, it is a little higher than what I'm used to now having been wearing Comexum for a while, but I don't feel like it's any causing any discomfort. It doesn't feel like it's hitting me in any spots. There's no rubbing. It's still considerably lower than most of the bras in my size uh, in UK brands. So I don't feel like, for me anyway, that it would be a deal breaker to have a higher cup height. Having said that, I'm a little taller and I do have a lot of torso space. So I could see the perspective of that petite woman or that woman who has very high set breasts wondering if this was going to create some problems. On the positive side though, we have heard complaints from some customers who have like either you know looser tissue here or skin saying that the cup is just too low and they feel like it comes the skin or the tissue comes over the side. This would totally fix that. So if you've had that problem with Comexum in the past, think about getting the raised arm. It does raise it just a little bit. It's not very much. It's not like there's a whole you know half inch or inch tacked on. It's just enough to give a little bit more side coverage here. I mean, I'm going to show you again. I mean, we're not talking a whole lot of extra space on that side. And again, I did do that video which just talked about the alterations, and in that I had measurements and comparisons too. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. Check out the blog I wrote. Now, as I mentioned, the reduced cup and the two centimeter strap alteration were by far my favorites. The raised arm, I probably won't get that one again. It's fine for this particular bra, but for me, I love the fact that they were lower. It didn't bother me. I didn't have issues if there was anything like here. I loved it. But I do want to say in all fairness that this is something worthwhile, again, if you have that extra tissue on the side or if you've had some you know, problems with how low Comexum hits. 
Now, this one does not have the reduced cup height. So one of the things I mentioned with that was that sometimes I would get a little bit of extra space kind of here towards the top, and I'm getting it again here. Now, I didn't realize it at the time when I was purchasing the classic cups, but I do get this more frequently without the reduced cup height. So what I would love to do in the future is actually try um, this bra again with the reduced cup and the straps moved and then this raised gore because I really like the raised gore part. I, I love the lower gore, I like the classic gore, um, but I also like having the, the raised too. I feel like when I bend over and I move, this just feels a little bit more secure to me. Um, for work, I would like to have ideally like maybe two of the bras with the raised gore. Uh, just for those days when I feel like I can't catch my breath and I'm running around and I'm bending over and I don't have time to do anything. I mean, this would be ideal for me. So I do love that and I would just love to see how it would look if we could take some of this cup height off. From what I've seen with customers, that alteration almost starts to transform it more into a balcony bra. It's not a complete balcony bra, but it's a little bit less of a plunge at that point. Now I might be an outlier here because all three of the, the gore heights work fine for me. I like all three. I will, in the future, most likely have a mix of bras that have all of them. The lower gore is great for the, you know, plunging look, maybe a little bit more cleavage. The classic gore I've been wearing and have had no issues with. And then this gore here with the raised just gives a little bit of extra coverage for me towards the center. I'm also getting a pretty decent tack towards the bottom. It gets a little softer as we get higher. Um, again, I'm not much of a fan of an overly hard tack. I feel like it, it creates issues for me as the day goes on. I would much rather have a soft tack and it is, as I mentioned, really tacking towards the bottom and then just to that top part we get a little softer. It's not coming away from the body, it's just not pressing as firmly. So I really liked that alteration too. Overall I have been extremely impressed with the alterations process and I know that from a personal perspective I will be taking advantage of it in the future. But let's talk about the bra itself. This is Beatrix from the latest Anna Pardell collection which is for uh, 2015. It's gorgeous. It's got this great mix of polka dots and then like pinstripes together, which I think is really fun. It's got a nice black fabric on a beige base, which is really classic. This is a nice black bra alternative. The materials are extremely high quality. The band is nice and firm. It doesn't feel like it's gonna stretch. They use fully adjustable straps, which I feel is a great thing for the full bust market, so you can customize the fit better. It has three hook and eye closures in the back. Now they will, do more or less hook and eye closures, but I personally am a big fan of the three. I might at one point do one with four just to see how that compares, but three is fine for me. Uh, as I said, the quality is really what gets me in the comfort. I mean, the overall comfort of the bra is great. The interior fabric is really soft, but I know that when I purchase an Anna Pardell bra that it's going to last. I have bras from them that are over a year old at this point, and they have seen a lot, a lot, a lot of wear. And, you know, with the exception of they are starting to show a little bit of it, it does not look like I've had them for a year, maybe like six months. So this is a brand that you can really invest in. I know that a lot of their prices run higher. I mean, we're looking at like $62 to $70 for a bra, maybe even a little more for the long lines. But it's worth it. It really is worth every penny. This is not a bra that's just going to give out on you um, very quickly. And Beatrix is yet another entry that's just fabulous. I love the way Anna Pardell, in particular, channels neutrals. When they do a neutral, it doesn't seem like it's boring. It's not just plain. There's something going on with the design. There's something that makes it a little bit more exciting. And that's true of your kind of your basic black bra, even ones that are more like beige, like their stiff cappuccino. Um, they had a beautiful bra called Miss Pam last year. They have hibiscus coming out this year, which is also great. I mean, they know how to give you something that's versatile, classic, and sophisticated all in one package. And the alterations just make it that much better because now, you have the power to figure out what bra or what alterations on your bra are going to be ideal for you. Again, last time I'm gonna remind you, but if you haven't done it already, go and check out that alterations video. It's long, I think it's like 17 minutes, but it's filled with a lot of good information. We go over this bra, Felicity, we talk about the classic bra. I mean, it's got the whole uh, shebang going on. I mean, there is everything in that video. So check that out, check out some of the other reviews um, for the line and you know, it might be worth pursuing this. Definitely consider the alterations in the future. I know that I will be doing so. And overall, again, extremely impressed, great bras. Now if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our blog, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest for all the latest news and event information.